Hey guys, Chrissy Vane here and it is your weekly vlog update. This week I want to take some time to talk to you about um, spiritual lessons and money. So this all stemmed yesterday because I got into, y'all know how I have a love-hate relationship with social media, got into a little bit of a tiff on another um, Instagram page for an injector who had gone on her page and done a reel about um, not accepting gratuity and it was like no we don't accept gratuity no we don't accept tips no 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 so it's funny I thought back to when I didn't have money about 15 years ago and I was spending time in a metaphysical shop my aunt was with me my aunt's like a uh, hardcore like CFO super successful woman at that time I was really struggling and um my aunt tried to pay for me something in the spiritual shop and I was like no like don't know meanwhile I didn't have a pot to piss in so um the spiritual the lady um who owned the spiritual shop her name was Tavane it's eclectic by no nature in Greensboro North Carolina taught me a very valuable lesson at that time and she looked at me and she said Kristen she said stop blocking your blessings so someone wanted to gift me and I was trying not to accept it because I didn't think that I was worthy or whatever of a gift. And she said to me, in order to be able to become abundant, you have to accept gifts. So I've never forgotten that. And um, it is even utilized in med spa today. 12 years ago, we did not see anyone leaving gratuity. Nowadays, quite a few people do and it could be geographical um, you know we are in an area of the United States that there is a med spa or plastic surgeon on every single corner and it could just be energetic you know if people feel like that they're you're spending a lot of time with them and sort of creating the most beautiful self that you can possibly create they can feel that and often want to gift you for it so I'll never forget that lesson that I learned from Tavane in Greensboro, North Carolina in about 2007, 2008, because it has helped me so much through the years learn to become abundant. So here are some tips that I do and that I started to do 15 years ago to help myself learn how to become abundant even when I didn't have a dollar to my name. Um, the first thing I started to do was even when I could not give monetarily, I gave energetically. So when we first moved to Florida, so when we first moved to Florida, um, I we came here with everything we owned in a five by seven trailer. And um, we just had faith that it was gonna be a fresh new start. So it was, but it took some time and it took a lot of like grind too. So. I would only have like a couple of dollars to like eat off of for the week and I would always go through the Wendy's drive through and I would try to think of like when I checked out with the person at the end when I got like my, my dollar hamburger or whatever and I would always try to think of like what did I like about them did they have a nice voice did they have nice nails um, were they super great at customer service and I would find a way to compliment them uh, before I left because by raising other people's vibrations you also raise your own so that was the very first thing that I did and I would see like small changes and actually the girls started to recognize me at the um, Wendy's they would be like you the dollar hamburger girl um, so it was really funny because that's how I started to do things when I couldn't monetarily take care of people. Then slowly but surely with a lot of hard work and a lot of hustle, I started to be able to monetarily take care of people, places, things. And that's what I continue to do up to this day. I was solicited in the mall parking lot the other day by a couple of younger kids and you know, they had bought uh, a thing of candy and then we're like doubling the price trying to make money and I said well what is it going towards and they looked at me and they said well honestly our family's having a really hard time and we just need it to pay for stuff and I, so I gave them 10 bucks and carried on 
Um, I didn't take any candy or anything and my coworker who was with me said you gave them money and I said yeah and she was like oh, but what if it goes like towards the wrong place well it's not up to me what I what they did do or did with the money it was the intentions behind it and by constantly giving constantly putting out good energy all that comes back to you and even the last two years when a lot of the world has been struggling greatly, um, thankfully up to this point, I haven't been in a category that's like struggling hugely financially. So if you're struggling financially, you really have to start focusing on giving. So even if it's just giving of your energy, then maybe give a dollar, then maybe give $10, then maybe give $40, then maybe give a hundred dollars. I will also, I did this quite a bit over pandemic, I would randomly donate to GoFundMe anonymously and that's another really good way to uh, generate positive energy and let the universe know that you are ready to accept abundance